Yo, what up YouTube? It's iPod King Carter here. You know, I'm going to bring you this little tutorial video on how to render videos for NBA 2K11 gameplay in Sony Vegas Pro 10. Um, a lot of people might not have Sony Vegas Pro 10. It's the newest uh, program from Sony Vegas. You know, they had 9 for a while, but you know, they just updated their software to 10. I just got it myself. Um, I advise you know go out support them uh, I think the program is about six hundred dollars um, if you don't have that then you know you can find it by any other means but you know I say support um, let's get straight into the video okay um, as you can see right here I have a VEG file um, which is for Sony Vegas um, basically it's just a standard you know program with a little bit of upgraded features from last year's alright now um, what you first want to do is project video properties um, these are the settings that you need to have um, the template you need to have 720 by 30 P 1280 by 720 with 29 frames per second basically um, the only thing that you really have to change below where it says pixel format and everything like that is the full resolution rendering quality that needs to be best now let's move on to the audio. Um, everything inside this should stay the same except for the resample and the stretch quality, which needs to be best. The ruler, the summary, and the audio CD does not need to be changed. That stays the same. All right, let's get that done. Now, um, let me grab a video file. I'll show you how to drop it and drag it. okay all you have to do is drag this over into project media tab let it go and then hang it out the drive now first what you want to do is um, you want to enter a video and audio uh, track inside your Sony Vegas so you just click video first and then you insert an audio track now what it happens is when you drag this into the timeline it fills up the video and audio part now what you can do is you can split the clips if you do not need all of them now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split the clip into what all all I need I don't need much but I will I will split it now if you can see my screen it's a lot of ghosting going on but uh, I will show you how to do that also alright first the only thing you have to do when you want to split a clip is press S on your keyboard that is it so you have to do is press s now um, as you can see I'm going through it I'm just basically going through the player of the game highlights alright the right, clip is almost done now the clip is finished now to split that all you have to do is press s as well now what you want to do is when you want to get a uh, audio file out of the timeline that you do not need all you have to do is click on the timeline and press the delete button that's all you have to do now to delete another part just click delete now to drag one file from any part in the timeline over all you do is click on it hold it and slide it over with your with your mouse or your keypad however you if you're using a laptop or a desktop now um let's start at the beginning of the clip I will show you different colors that pop up on you know your video now as you can see on the right side of the clip in the top you see a little bit of blackness that's um it's kind of bugs me out I don't know if it bugs anybody else out but it kinda happens when you try to render a video and you don't chop it up and make it clean that's kinda what happens when you see videos like that on YouTube now what you do is you just right click on the video and you just click on properties now all you have to do is disable the resample reduce the interlace flicker and uncheck maintain aspect ratio now after you do that all you have to do is click on event pan and crop now what happens is as you can see the video inside this part is still black so what we will do we'll just go to a, a small part in the video like right there now we'll drag this down and over now, as you can see the black line disappears now once you do that, that means that your video is ready to be in HD without any type of, you know, cuts in it where it shows a different type of 
feel to it now what I can do is um, I have defaults already ready so basically what I will say to you after you do make that altercation to the video I advise you to save it as a template all you have to do is go up in this box right here name it and then click the save button right here and then it will always be there and preset for you now what I will do is I will click on NBA 2k11 now that's my perfect setting as you can see the video actually moved out just a little bit it zoomed out because I actually cropped it too much when I did that so that's what it will look like now the video looks pretty good you know it's it's nothing too bad about it um but what I can tell you is my video FX that I use all I use is color curves I don't use color corrector like other people and I don't use any sharpen all I do is put in color curves and make it my own preset which is HD now with the HD preset these are the settings for that now I will let you sit back relax watch what's going on as you can see the two gray points on the actual scale or frame that it has you have to pull them to a certain degree in the video and it will actually pull the colors back and forth so to make certain parts darker certain parts lighter and that's how you you determine if it's HD for you or not now since we're done with that part we'll just drag that over to the side now let's mess with the audio guys um, let's see if I'll, I can turn my turtle beaches up loud enough so you'll be able to hear it play from all right now to change audio you have to change it through here it says volume you can take it back to however further you want it I usually take it back to about 25.6 because I like to record over my NBA gameplay now this is what it sounds like at 25.6 okay now you barely you barely heard it now when you want to record over your gameplay all you have to do is enter another audio track and click this button right here which is means arm ref for record what it does is it arms that track to record it tells you where do you want to save your actual recordings and I will save it in my documents now as I talk you can see here where it says the end it keeps moving every time I talk so that means that it is ready for recording all you have to do right here is press record now what I will do is I will watch the video I will record as you can see I can keep up with the gameplay you know the frames don't skip as much um, in Sony Vegas 10 as it did in Sony Vegas 9 as you can see right here I did a hop step dunk you know had 50 points um, let's move on you know through an alley-oop I came in for a 360 alley-oop long range shots I come down you know throw another alley you know for six assists <laughs> Uh, to my man right there all right now you know that's where amazing happens you know as you can see I did a dunk on like three people oh nice little at the buzzer layup oh nice little hop step dunk you know um yeah I took my 360 dunks off for this match so you know it was a lot of hop steps ah I dunked on a couple people now as you can see I had 56 two and one now that right there is just a player of the game video so the video is about to stop of course and that's that now all you got to do is press stop um, if you don't like the track if you don't like what you recorded you can delete it you can rename it you can delete all the recordings or you can just press done now what I usually do is I'll just drag this back to about right here and see if everything comes out great now let's listen let's move on you know through alley-oop I came in for a 360 alley-oop long-range shots I come down, you know, throw another alley, you know, for six assists. <laughs> All, right. All right, that's pretty good. Now, the only thing that you have to do, which means your video is practically done, is practically done. All you have to do now is render it. Now, rendering settings. All you have to do is click render as. As you can see, I have a file name for NBA 2K11, which is the template save, which is this right here. Now, my save as type is always Windows Media Video. 11 which is a WMV it gives you probably the smallest file with the the best quality still now as you can see my template does say YouTube but the beginning template for all you beginners needs to be 6 megabits per second HD which is 720 by 30 P video now once you do that all you have to do is click on this and then click on custom 
now you can change the settings to whatever you choose now if you look here these are the regular settings for six megabits per second right that's the video settings that's the bitrate settings and that are the pro that's the project settings and these are the audio settings now and my template for YouTube me my personal template this is my settings these are the actual audio settings these are the video settings which is a little bit different I give it more video smoothness now the bit rate is still the same I didn't change it to 8 megabits because I don't need it anymore you know the video still come out looking almost exactly the same now what I will tell you is the project settings have to be best and all you do is press OK now once you do that all you do is click save now for this one minute video it takes about I would say three and a half minutes to five minutes to render now after that you have a choice of putting it up on YouTube and to tell you the truth as long as my videos are nowadays that's how long it takes to upload to YouTube so if I have a 15 minute video it takes only 15 minutes to upload to YouTube I don't know if it's my internet connection I don't know if it's my my new rendering qualities but I'm gonna tell you now it's I'm I don't know <laughs> but uh that's basically the end of the video guys um I just want to shout out game face studios and all its members um, I want to thank everybody for coming through you know watching my videos uh, and I hope I helped um the newest video that I will be coming out with in my next tutorial will be how to render a uh, call of duty video inside of Sony Vegas so watch out for that and uh thanks a lot guys have a nice time